Now we're going to talk about halters, more equipment talks with Sherry and I. Both are made by Martin or Classic Equine. Both companies make halters. And so there's, they're a little bit different, but they're all good. Sherry and I have both been with Martin and Classic Equine for a very long time. It's all that we use for specific reasons. And so we're going to talk about well, maybe our preferences, because I don't know what kind of halter she likes. <laughs> but um, anyway, the one I have is pretty. It's purple and comes in several colors. And it, it is a pretty halter. And I have had some of these, but I actually like the one that Sherry has better because I have a little bit more nose control when I'm leading my beasts. This is Martin Salary's premium rope halter. It's $55. Um, this is what I choose to put on all the horses that I'm gonna haul down the road because it's safe. It's the highest quality cord that you can get. They use it on yachts and boats, and so it's, it's very good quality. My colts may not get this because sometimes they like to eat them. So <laughs> I um, don't put them on uh, at the house, but when I'm going down the road, this is what I choose. I think another really cool thing about these halters is that it's just one continuous piece of P&W cord, and you don't have any hardware to worry about breaking or that it's going to wear out and, and give out and break, and so it just kind of decreases your chances of, of something breaking. I mean, obviously, something can happen, and you never know, but the chances are, are decreased a lot by them breaking. I choose this. It may not be as pretty, but it's more effective. And when your horse, something scares them, they may need backed off a little bit, then you're going to get more from this yeah. on their nose than, than this. This has no, this is pretty, but it doesn't have any bite. They're going to push through that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, definitely. So, and another thing, I, I think I, I love these halters. Uh, they're sturdy. And when I'm tying up my horse that I love very much at a rodeo, I want to That's worth tie. a small fortune. Yes, well, um, <laughs> to me they are. And, uh, you know, I want it to be a, a safe halter that I'm tying them up with. And so I choose this. And um, a common mistake, which until I um, learn the correct way to put these on, I would just run this through the eye and then run my... That's what I would do. My the end of my rope through and call it good and I'd have it be bulky and impossible black. to get loose over time mm -hmm. and just so but this is the incorrect way so you go and it, just kind of clean it up a little bit more so the correct way to put the lead rope on your halter is you run the loop of your halter through the eye of the lead rope and then run the end of it through this and it's going to be similar to like a half hitch, and it's just going to clean everything up. Oh yeah, and nice and neat. Plus, nice it also neat. never gets so tight that you can't just push it and get it right. Yes. Oh, it makes a slip knot. Okay. That's Open what it, it makes a square knot. Yep. So much cleaner, the correct way, and then you're good to go. And tying these, do you want to do? You can do it. Okay. <laughs> I see a lot of, um, I, I don't know if it's the correct way or incorrect it's way. Cr it's incorrect because, okay. it's incorrect because it, if they step back or even make it tight, they have to cut it cut this right. other, that, that so way. So a lot of people will go above. Yeah, go ahead and pull it down so they can see it. And above and, and turn like this. And, and then yeah. it's just. So then they're, this, it just got Super a, tight. Yeah. If, if your horse pulls back, you're getting a wreck. And you can't get it loose. You have to get it, you'll have to get a knife to get that off. Yep. So you would go below and come around. Oh, come yeah, that's right. back like this. And then. And then we have another slip knot. Yes. Which so, no matter how hard they sit back, this will come loose. Come loose. Yep. And this is back towards the back of your horse and not. Flopping, flopping him in the eye. Eye. Yes. So there you go. No, and not. while we're talking about these, that like often when you first get them tied, I basically notice this when I'm on getting young horses and I'm going to put them on my walker, then I might have to go back and tighten it a little bit, mm -hmm. just so I can slip. But it's also, it's easy to tighten it at, if you do it this way. Right, right. Anyway, huge thing. I see that a lot too. Yes. On the note of using these halters, which we agree again on one more thing. <laughs> but anyway, I do use these when I'm going to put my horses on the walker because, like Sherry said, these knots give you some control. Also, if you're going to go lunge the horses, 
and maybe you have the proper colt lunging halter that has extra knots and if you don't this one still works pretty good but to to get him out of the stall when you put it on i want the halter snug up to his jaw and i make sure of it i tie it on and then i'll snug it back maybe before i leave him tied to the fence or before i leave him tied to the walker but if i'm going to go out and lunge him like i do oxana all the time I drop the thing down just a little bit when I'm going to put her on a lunge line so that the rope part is a little lower on her nose so that when I tug her, I get her nose and not be pulling on her jaw back here. So this is super useful for tying up solidly or lunging a horse. And, do, and if you just use it properly, you can use it for a lot of different things. 